So you want to edit your videos faster, but not actually know how to. Well, then you are in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top five tricks to double your editing speed in DaVinci Resolve. And also at the end of the video, I'm gonna throw in a bonus tip that's gonna help you move around your timeline so much quicker. So stay tuned for that. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out but let's get into it. All right, so the first trick I have for you guys is to use lower resolution copies of your files so that Resolve will be able to play it back smoother. So the first way to do this is to enable proxy mode. Now, as far as I can tell, this actually affects your whole timeline. So if you go up here to playback, go under proxy mode, and then you have two options. You could do half resolution or quarter resolution. So Looking at this guy's face right here, you can see that it's crisp. But when I click quarter resolution, you can see that it actually looks like now it's out of focus. Ultimately, what's happening is Resolve is processing less quality of this image. So everything looks a little more out of focus, but it's gonna actually allow Resolve to load your footage faster because it's having to process less quality. So now the second way to create a lower quality version of your footage is to use optimized media. So instead of having your whole timeline lower quality like you did in proxy mode, you can actually choose which files you want to be lower quality. So if my computer is having a lot of issues playing this clip back, I can right click on it, go to generate optimized media, and it'll generate a lower quality version of that footage in a codec that DaVinci Resolve really can read well. If you're still having problems playing back that clip, you can actually go over here into the settings and under master settings, you could scroll down to optimize media resolution. And then you have the option to choose the quality that your lower resolution copy is going to be created in. Now, once you've generated the optimized media, you can toggle it on and off using this button right here. All right, moving on to number two of how to double your editing speed in DaVinci Resolve, use fast forward. I know for some people this might be obvious, but if you're making your first round of cuts, right, you don't need to be super precise. What you're trying to do the first round through your footage is to cut out all the bad and boring crap that you don't want part of that video. You don't have to be crisp and clean with all of your cuts. That's what you wanna do your second time through your footage. So by using fast forward, I can move through my footage two times the speed and ultimately save myself time in the long run. And speaking of fast forward, at number three, we have keybinds. Having good keybind setup alone could double your editing speed. I can literally make a whole video all about my keybinds because it's such an important topic. Let me know if you want that in the comments below because I totally would be down for that. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you 10 of the most essential keybinds that I use to edit quicker in DaVinci Resolve. So to get to our keybind editor, I'm gonna go to DaVinci Resolve right here and under keyboard customization, I'm gonna click all commands. Q is start to playhead. What this is, if you're from Premiere, it's ripple left. So when you hit Q, it'll delete everything to the left of your playhead. W is ultimately ripple right. So it'll just delete everything to the right of your playhead. A is gonna select every single clip to the right of the playhead. So if you put your playhead on a cut just like this right here and hit A, it'll select everything on all tracks to the right. So then you can just move it over. S is razor. This adds a cut right where the playhead is every time you hit S. Control Z is undo. So if you have any screw ups, you can just hit Control Z and it's just gonna undo. And Shift Control Z is going to redo one step forward. So if I hit undo, but realize that I didn't want to undo it, I could just hit Control Shift Z and it's going to redo it. So now getting onto our fast forward controls, we have Z. Z is fast reverse. X is to stop and C is fast forward. Now the final key bind is V. What V does is it just brings your selection tool back. So if I was using the razor blade right here, I don't want it anymore. I just hit V and it goes right back to the selection tool. Now I can move things around. So if you haven't realized yet, all of these key binds are literally on one hand. And as I mentioned in my last video, I actually use a razor gamepad for my editing. I'm literally able to put all of my key binds on here and move throughout my timeline without really ever having to pick up my left hand to search for another keybind. It's all there. 
If you guys are interested in this or something like it, check in the description. I'll put a few different links in there. So now the fourth trick to double your editing speed in DaVinci Resolve is to use a master timeline. The master timeline has to do with color grading. Now color grading can actually take forever to actually complete, especially if you've cut up and moved around all of your footage just like this. All of these clips right here that have matching colors are from the same clip. So to go through and color grade all of these individually would just be a freaking pain in the butt. But if you go to the master timeline, you can go ahead and color the source clip and then switch back to your timeline. And now you can see that the color grade is actually on all of these clips that were originally from the same source. So with the master timeline, you can ultimately just speed up the process of color grading. I have a video all about how to set up the master timeline. I'll put that in the card above, but remember to come back here so you can learn tricks to speed up your editing process into DaVinci Resolve. So now the fifth and final trick to double your editing speed is to make presets. Presets are so important because they're ultimately things that you've already made that now you can just go ahead and grab them and drag them in and you don't have to worry about remaking it. It's already been made because you spent the time to do it. So an example of this could be a transition, pop-up graphics, certain types of zooms, certain types of pans, literally anything that you can make can be put in a preset. And this is how you do it. So for example here, I just have a zoom in, right? Super basic, it's nothing crazy at all. Let's say I wanna save that zoom so I can use it later. I'm gonna highlight the nodes that I use to make this zoom, right click on it, go to settings and select save as. Then just name it and then you can save it on your desktop somewhere. Now you're gonna to wanna to open up your file browser right here. Go to your local disk C, program files, then Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, and then scroll all the way down to Fusion and then click Templates, Fusion, and now you see all of these different things right here. These right here are folders already inside of Fusion. So if you go to your effects library in Fusion, you can just open up Templates and you'll see all the files right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna right click, create a new folder and name it whatever you want. So for this, I'm just gonna name it Zoom. Then you wanna grab that Zoom settings file that we created earlier and just drag it in and then just hit continue and now you can see that your Zoom file is in there. So just close this out and then restart Resolve. So now once you've restarted Resolve, go to your effects library, go to templates, and you can see that Zoom is there. And then all you do is just grab it and place it in your clip. So now you see that we just dragged and dropped our Zoom back into our composition so that this Zoom can be used over and over and over again. Now, like I said, it doesn't just work for that. It can work for literally anything you create in Fusion. All right, so as promised, you get a bonus tip, and this will help you just move around your timeline so much easier. One of the most annoying things in DaVinci Resolve is that I'm only able to use my scroll wheel to move up and down on the timeline. But in Premiere Pro, I was always able to use the scroll wheel to move from side to side, and that made it just so much easier. Well, there's a way to do that in DaVinci Resolve. So if you go to View, go down to Enable 2D Timeline Scroll, deselect that, now with your scroll wheel, you can just move all around and it's so much more fluent. Ooh, you feel that? Efficiency. So there you have it. My top five tricks to double your editing speed in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share with a friend so that they can also edit faster. All the links to things like my keypad and my mouse, which has like a bunch of buttons on it, are in the description, check that stuff out. Those things alone have just helped me edit faster in DaVinci Resolve. But anyway, as usual, the video on the top is a video all about the cinematic text reveal effects in DaVinci Resolve, and the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.